So in this lesson, we're going to continue with our last one, which was the same number, 1.1. We're still looking at solving simple equations, but this is part two. And specifically, we're going to understand how to solve one-step equations, but these involve multiplication and division. All right, so I think we'll start off like we did before. We're going to go take a look at some balance scales to get the, the basic idea. So here's our first one, 3x equals 6. So once again, the 6 just represents a weight of 6, so I'll drag those over here. The equal sign represents the middle or the fulcrum of our balance scale. And then the 3x, what that represents is instead of having just a single mystery weight, it's saying we have three of them. The coefficient of three is saying we have three of these x's. And that balances things out. Now, our objective, of course, is to try to figure out how much does one of these blocks of x weigh, not three of them. And so what we need to do is we need to think about how could I simplify this picture to figure out what x is without unbalancing my scale. Well, you might have already guessed it, but the way we're going to go about this is since there are three blocks on this side, but we only need to know one of them, what we can do is we can divide both sides by 3. Dividing both side, this side by 3, we'll get 1x. Divide this side by 3, and we'll get our answer. So if I click Go, this is now down to one-third of what it was, as was this side. This side of 6 was divided and is now just 2. And so we get our answer. A single mystery block equals a weight of 2. And so what we've figured out basically is that what we're trying to do is we're trying to get 3x down to 1x, which is a little different from what we did before. Before we were trying to get rid of the other number and make it 0, but in this case we're just trying to make this number the coefficient of x 1, which is a little bit different, and you'll see that in our examples. All right, let's take a look at another problem. Here's another one, 8 equals 2x. So if I drag out my 8 tiles, and then 2x's, my scale balances. But I want to figure this out where instead of two x's, I only have a single x. So here, it's just what we kind of did in the last chapter. We're doing opposites. Here, they're timesing x by two. So what we're going to do to simplify the problem is to divide by two. This side divides by two, this side divide by two, and we get x equals four. All right, and so that's the basic idea behind the balance scales. Again, we're just doing opposites. In this case, the opposite of multiplying by some number, like 2, is we divide by 2. So the multiplication property of equality says that as long as we multiply each side of an equation by the same number, it produces an equivalent equation. So, for example, if our initial balance scale was a equals b, then I could multiply both sides by c and things would stay balanced. So, for example, on our balance scale example, it would be like tripling one side of the weight on the tripling the weight on one side of our balance scale and then tripling the other side. Since I'm tripling both sides, the scale is still balanced. Now the same thing goes for the examples we just did. We were using the division property of equality. That dividing each side by an equation of an equation by the same number produces an equivalent equation. So if A equals B was my original equation, then if I divide the left side by some number C as long as I do the same division on the other side, my equation is still equivalent. And so these are the properties we're going to use today. 